tonight that I am just a busy, busy little bee, just making all kinds of people just so mad and upset. And this goes to, what is it, Child of Jesus Christ. Honey. Oh, I'm tired of I'm, I'm tired of trying to do talk to text or type anything out. Uh, I'm just gonna make a video for you so we can just sum it all up and everybody can hear my opinion and how I feel and look, I'm not a Christian and um, I don't do the whole religious thing uh, simply because I feel that the Bible is man man written um it's been changed so many so many ways and according to the bible um i do know that we're not supposed to pass judgment and we're not the ones who decide um what gets you into heaven or what gets you into hell okay it basically i don't approve of abortion okay but I'm not going to crucify somebody or say, oh, you're going to hell because I don't know whether they're going to hell or not. That's not my decision. Um, just because you feel a certain type of way about something doesn't mean that, you know, it's, it's good or it's bad. Basically, I think that's the whole problem that Christians Holy rollers, Bible thumpers. I, I think that's the whole problem that people have nowadays. Is you trying to? Um, that's why we call y'all hypocrites. Simply because um, you um, contradict yourself, um, and, and it's always it's always touchy when you talk about God because you don't know the true facts. I don't know the true facts. Okay. Uh, you may study your Bible and blah, 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 but honey, I know you're not living the righteous way. Because if you were living the righteous way, you would not be up here doing this. Because that's not what God would have you do. Seriously. You're not you're not fighting for the, the, the word of God. That's not what you're doing. You're trying to... <laughs> you're trying to just... Uh, you're trying to play God, honey. You're trying to tell somebody what the hell they can do with their body. And it's none of your business. It's none of my business. Okay? Because I used to uh, feel the same way. I, I truly did. I'm not going to lie. I really did used to feel the same way. But the more, the more I opened myself up spiritually, the more I realized, plus the older you get, um, and plus, if you look at how the world is nowadays, everybody, everybody's offended over everything. That you're right, I'm wrong, blue, 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 you need to do this, you need to do that. Everybody just needs to shut the hell up and mind your business and let people do what they need to do. Because if the next door neighbor decides to go out one night and she's out with her friends and she gets raped and she wants to have an abortion, it's none of your business. It's none of my business. Okay. That, what started this was TikTok, was a woman saying, I hate women. How are you going to hate women when you are one? But you want to stand up. <laughs> I just, I'm not even going to try to wrap my head around it, okay? Seriously to God. I'm not going to do it. But I'm telling you, it doesn't matter whether I like it or you like it. It's not my life. It's not your life. It's not your decision. It's not your soul that gets tainted because of somebody else doing what you think is a sin. Because honestly, you're committing a sin by getting up here and doing what you're doing with me. Okay? Um, <laughs> I don't know why you're so offended. Fighting for the word of God. No, you're fighting and trying to use the word of God as your shield. Okay? Okay? Because a true Christian would not be up here doing that. So, you can say what you want to about me and you can do what you need to do. Honey, get on your knees and pray. I don't, I don't, I don't care what you need to do. But you need to mind your business. Seriously. Because, I mean, I'm going to still say the same thing. No matter how many times you, you claim that, you know, I'm doing this. I'm fighting for the word of God and blah, blah, blah. 
No, you're not, dude. You're not. You're up here being a damn hypocristian, okay? And it's people like you that have other people not even want to even think about letting God into their life because we don't act like that. I'm sorry. We don't act like that. And you can say what you want to, but this past year, God has opened so many doors for me. And God has, has been through thick and, and, and thin with me and held my hand. And he keeps telling me to, to do what I do. And I'm telling you, I feel it in my, in my soul. He's telling us, mind your business. That's the whole problem with the world today. Mind your damn business. Worry about what's going on in your house. Don't worry about what's going on in somebody else's house. If it is not affecting you, then why are you worried about it? Don't be using God as a crutch to be a bitch. Okay? And, and, I, and I hate to even come out here and say that. But like I said, honey, I am spiritual. Okay? And I don't claim to live the righteous life because I don't know anybody on this planet that lives the full righteous life that according to the Bible and according to this, ain't nobody on this damn planet living according to the Bible and doing everything that they need to be doing, okay? What, what we need to be doing is minding our business, having some compassion for people instead of being quick to, to rip their throats out or, oh, I don't like what you're wearing. Oh, you got tattoos? You must be a, an evil, bad person because the Bible says, the Bible says... This is what Stony Girl says about all you people who want to throw that Bible shit up and use it as a shield for you to try to plant your neurotic seed in somebody's head to think, I don't know. Everybody's entitled to their own damn opinion, but you ain't going to change my mind, sweetie pie. And I'm sure a lot of people can agree with me, whether they like the words that are coming out my mouth or how I'm doing it. I'm sure a lot of people was fed up with everybody being up in their damn business. Seriously. Mind your business. Worry about worry about you getting into heaven. Okay? Don't be worried about, oh, she ain't going to heaven. Oh, she ain't going to heaven because she did this. Oh, they ain't done that. No, no, baby. That's not, that's not what my God teaches me. That's not what he puts in, in my head and my heart. So, it is what it is. That's why I don't claim a religion. That's why I say I'm spiritual. Because I don't want to be labeled as a nut job like most of these people are. And I'm probably going to catch a lot of crap for this. I don't care. I don't care. If you're offended because I'm saying this, then maybe you might need to reevaluate uh, <laughs> your spirituality or your religion, okay? <sighs> I worry about you. Doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. The, the the governor of that state said once a heartbeat's detected, you can't get an abortion. So what's the big deal? Okay? You're just, what, people's just mad because the option's still there? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Or are you a bitter bitch who can't have a kid? Is that what it is? I mean, I don't know. I don't need to be calling people names, but damn. Damn. Jesus Christ. Christ, please, please get woke. Please open your eyes. <laughs> hmm. There's signs all around us. Seriously, there is. You just got to open your eyes and look at them. And once you realize what those signs are, your life will be a whole lot better. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you that. I did not used to be woke. I'm very woke. Some people might say, oh, you a bitch, you crazy, you this, you're that. Nah, I just ain't putting up with no more bullshit. Period, point blank, dot. I'm tired of everybody. Mind your business.